So uh, another question uh, that came was, uh, uh, what is the best career advice? And I think where this is coming from is that you obviously from San Jose State uh, have achieved a lot uh, and uh, a lot of others, you know, uh, uh, graduates from San Jose State. So uh, what's the difference between somebody getting to your level and somebody, you know, uh, just leading an average career uh, throughout their lives? I mean, what, what is something that they can do now uh, that will ensure their success? Typically, the answer I give here is part of the reason I was able to be successful is because I, I really became the expert. And in, in this case, I became the expert in, uh, in basically web platforms. At the time, it was pretty low tech stuff I was doing. Uh, believe it or not, I was doing Netscape Navigator and a shit ton of Perl, actually, um, uh, you know, setting up our internet and getting our, uh, our internet uh, environment uh, uh, stable. But I became the company's expert in the web. Uh, and, and when I see this across the board, the people that I uh, value and the people that I think accelerate through the company um, pretty quickly are the ones that become an expert in XYZ system, they're an expert in a technology stack, they're an expert in, um, in uh, one part, important part of the business. The folks that I see that are sort of, I, I have often called it sort of they're doomed to be a senior manager or a director for the rest of their life is they jump into management uh, too early. Very few people are the best leaders in the world and can lead any team of any side, even if they don't have the expertise. So, um, you know, if you jump, if you, you know, do a couple of years and then jump into management, um, you know, my guess is that you're going to be you know, sort of a senior manager or director for the rest of your life and will oftentimes not get to, you know, sort of the VP or executive level. Um, and that, that's also true. Again, I, I want to encourage many of you to stay off of the management track as long as possible. You can always learn later. Um, and most people who have been individual contributors for a really long time also get great experience sort of understand what good managers are and what bad managers are. And so you are technically getting management experience, but you, if you can hold off for a really long time, you can always uh, go into leadership uh, you know, later in your career. And I highly, uh, I highly recommend that. 